PB 5938 national record for Vicente, 6029 for Carlin and 6042 national record for O'Connor. We'll wait and see. Well, that would be absolutely terrific scoring from all those top four women who are in contention for those medals in the heptathlon. Still two more events to go though. The javelin towards the middle of the day. As I say, we're just waiting to see whether that will be run as one or two groups and then finishing off with the 800 meters. As we look at the first round in the men's 3000 meter steeplechase. So quite comfortable qualifying conditions for the top men. First five in each of the heat and the non-fastest automatic qualifiers. Well, there'll be five of them and they go through to the final on Sunday. Very packed evening session on Sunday. 13 gold medals to be decided. Well, 15 men in this field, but the one to pick out as the cameras are picking out the Turkish athletes. Is Tim van der Belt, the very, very good Belgian, more than 20 seconds faster than anybody else in the European under 20 ranks as well. And if he was practical, he would have probably been in the 1500 meters where he might well have been a medal contender. I'm just wondering whether van der Belt will just leave this until maybe the last lap or so and just sprint away or just treat it as a time trial because he could easily run. 8.50 and it would be a big surprise if anybody else still got near him. Well, Rosario of Portugal and Laurent at the head of the pack at this stage. Pretty decent pace, it's not as sedentary as the 3,000 metres last night. Well, they seem after that early bit of enthusiasm to have slowed down. Oh. That's the Swede bailing out. So Jonsson, three failures. She did get over a personal best of 4.05 earlier this year, but equaling that was beyond a here. Is the Italian leading the way in this race? That's Zanetti. Turk Mutlu is up there as well. Well, they're all taking it very steadily at this stage. I thought we were going to see a faster race. And Van der Velde, well, he's just towards the back, just watching everything unfold. Doesn't need to worry too much. Second group of qualifiers hoping to make it through to the men's discus final. Jakob Fordet of the Czech Republic. Brother Michael has already made it with the throw of 59.29 a little earlier on. 59 meters would automatically put you a place, looks like. We might have two brothers in that final. Indeed, we have. 
Well, this is the European leader in the polo, Andrei Nahudo. Coming in at this height, had a failure at 4.05. 4.36 at best, and she makes it look easy. <laughs> Just probably wondering why she made a bit of a mess of it at 4.05 a bit earlier, but no problems this time around. Well, we make some references to what happened in Yevla last week. And that, of course, was a Swiss win in the women's pole vault by Angelica Moser. So I wonder if the Swiss can make it a double in the women's pole vault across these European age group categories. So now the pace has really started to pick up a little bit. Here's the Swede. So three minutes and 1.71 for the opening qualifier. Reminded that uh, top five making it through automatically plus five time qualifiers across the two heats. So there is the possibility that 10 athletes could go through. So it's Valencia of Lithuania leading the way and Noor of Sweden. Still everybody evenly matched. But it's still the Swede and getting rousing cheers as he comes through with three laps to go, 1200 meters. Not losing too many people at this stage. Rather tired Israeli at the back. James Tomlinson of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Close to that qualifying mark. Co-captain of the team with Holly Mills who we've seen in the heptathlon this morning. Leading overall by 14 points from Maria Vicente of Spain. How is Tomlinson going here? Well, just 86 centimetres short of the automatic standard, but uh, a solid start. 6.09 through two kilometres for this, the first of two heats of the men's 3,000 metre steeplechase. So he's drifted back and forwards the pace. 6.09, you can do the math, that's a 9.12 finish, which is quite slow now it did start very enthusiastically the pace drifted back and now it's picking up again with two laps to go and it's still Omar Nur of Sweden and he's never broken nine minutes in fact his best is 907 so he's having a good race he's working quite at his limit but he's trying to put on a show for family and friends and the home crowd here In fact, looking at my notes here, he's not won a race this year. So if he wins this heat, it'll be the first time he's crossed the line in pole position. A lot of seconds and thirds for Nur at the moment. Yeah, he's the very tall Hungarian, Sesmadai. So they're going to go through and here one lap to go. So says Marai the Hungarian goes through with Nur about five meters adrift. Then the Spaniard Vicioso. The Spaniard struggled there, made a bit of a hash of that barrier, but it's 
says Marai, who is now well in command of this race. No, just starting to tire a little. He's really worked very hard during the middle stages of that race. Great returns at a BA having a good run as well. So those are the five men. It makes life very easy deciding who's going to get through to the final. Five automatic qualifiers, leading trio, just easing up. 904-23 unofficially for Levante Sesmeray of Hungary. With Ramila Kun at a Bayi coming through in second place. And Vicioso, Vicente Vicioso, getting through as well. Well, Adebayi, personal best, well, personal best for the leading runners there. With some of the top men not showing, but no, personal best for him, he gets through. Yasinskaya, the Turk, takes fifth place at the final automatic qualifying position. Not a terribly fast race though, despite those personal bests. You have to ask also what happened to the French. Just looking at some of the incidents there, well that answers my question. I didn't spot that, I think we might have been watching the pole vault at that stage as Fourneval hit the deck and he was one of the people we might have expected to have been up there as a sub nine minute man nevertheless says Marai advertising the fact that he's got a pretty useful endurance sprint over the last lap if it's a slow race he can really tear the heart out of it over the course of the last four or five hundred meters and a nice personal best as well for Adebayi the Brit coming through in comfortable second place there's confirmation says Marai Adebayi Vikiosa Nö and Yalsinskaya all get through for Hungary Great Britain Spain Sweden and Turkey Belsinius well he showed at the front at various points in the race but the tall Lithuanian, who has got a very good personal best, has to wait and see whether he goes through as a non-automatic qualifier.